Shalom, Yasharala. I want to start out by giving infinite honors to Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. A salutation and greetings to you since I can push in this true cross of four winds. I'm going to do this sit down about this uh, spiritual house we building, man. Uh, the tabernacles of David, how we're closing up the breaches thereof, man. And what's going to happen when this, uh, when this enterprise is finished, man. All right, through the spirit, the most high is raising up his uh elect, hit the cream crella de la creme. All right, the men he loved, those that seek him early, and he's found of them. All right, and he got us, us men, us hopeful elect men that are prisoners of hope, pushing out his doctrine. He's put his words in our mouth to bring in more men. All right, to bring in uh sincere elect brothers. All right, so we can build this spiritual house, man, and then go into the kingdom of heaven and um, conquer and rule and um, get all this knowledge and wisdom that he has to give us and behold the beauty, behold his beauty in his temple, man. All right, so I'm going to go through a few precepts and show what we are doing, and man, and the end thereof goal, man. All right, this is Zechariah 8 verse 9. Thus saith your power of hosts, let your hands be strong. And let's see what strengthens your hands. Let's see what quickens us. All right? Because Israel, you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latin-speaking people of the earth, we're in a downtrodden state. All right? Uh, when you read um, Isaiah, the first chapter, it says, our whole head is sick. We're full of petrifying sores, man. When you read the book of Ezekiel, it says we're dead bones. We're a corpse. Okay? So let's see what strengthens us, how we make our hands strong. Ye that hear in the days, the words, ye, ye that hear in these days, these words by the mouth of the prophets. The prophets speak what Yahabah Shemeh puts in our mouth to speak. He said, I give you a mouthful of wisdom where the gainsayers can't resist. All right. And these words, his words that we put, that he put in our mouth according to uh, Matthew, the 10th chapter, the 20th verse, are uh, a spirit, all right? In John 6 to 63, his word is a spirit, and that's what quickens us. That's what, what wakes us up from the dead. That's what heals us, all right? Our great king said, um, I think that's Matthew 11, that he, he, came for the, he, he came for the sick. He didn't come for those that were whole. He came for the sick and the main, Okay. And his words that he have his prophets pushing out is what wakes up the nations from a comatose state, from a, a, a dead state, all right? From when, you, when you're when you around here like an Ebola patient, it heals you and makes you whole, okay? Which when the day that the foundation of the house of Yahweh of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. All right, and this temple, we, 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 that was talking about a physical temple, but we talking about this spiritual temple. All right, the elect, we are the church. We are Jerusalem, all right? Lord willing, we're in that precious number, all right? Well, we're building the day, this temple we're building today is a spiritual temple, man. All right, full of lively stones, all right? And these are the words that strengthen you, all right? This is what we're to do while building that temple. This is what we're supposed to push out, what to make that temple strong, all right? I'm going to skip down to verse 16, all right? I'm going to start at verse 15. So again, have I thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before as a place. All right, Jerusalem represents you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latin-speaking people of the earth. The elect of you, all right? And to the house of Judah, fear ye not. He's saying, you men of the Lord, fear ye not, all right? These are the things that ye shall do. Speak every ye man the truth to his neighbor. This is what you do to speak up to build their house. You go tell our people the truth of the scriptures, okay? And the ones, when you out there piping and blowing the flute and they dance, all right, those are lively stones that's building this house up, all right? And the only thing that's going to bring them in, John 8, 32, is say, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That's what builds us off. The truth builds up the spiritual house. The truth of the scriptures, sound doctrine, okay? 
execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gate, in your gates. All right. That's why the scriptures say be shouted with the sandals of peace. All right. With this gospel of peace. All right. Verse 17. And let not none of you imagine evil in your hearts against your neighbor. All right. That's the second greatest commandment. Love that your your um your neighbor with all thy might. Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. Okay, that's the second greatest commandment, man. Be a brother to your brother. All right, and love no false oath. All right, and all of the false oath is is the ways of this world, the the philosophies that our people live uh, according to. All right, that the devil has uh, taught our this so called white man has taught our people. Okay. All right. It say love, not the ways of this world. Love, no false hope for all these things that I hate. Our heavenly father hates that. All right. Those are, are stones that the heavenly father is going to reject when you come in uh, to build a spiritual house. Say of your house. All right. You can get another precept. All right. I'm going to go to. Uh, I'm going to go to first Corinthians. All right. It's on the same topic. Three verse. All right, I'm going to start at verse 9. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9. For we are labors together with Yahweh. Ye are God's hus hus husbandry. Ye are God's building. All right, we're that spiritual house. We're that church. We're the temple of the Lord, okay? All right? According to the grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me as a wise master builders. We are master builders, man. All right. We are husbandries. That means we tend to his tend to his uh vineyard. We tend to his uh temple, okay? We are wise master builders. And for you to be a master builder, you have to be pushing this truth. You have to have this doctrine. You have to know, know how to rightly divide this word of truth and um and live it, okay? Apply wisdom to your life and then go. And when you build up a brother, use these scriptures and this doctrine to build a brother up, um, to sanctify a brother with your high by Shema and Shai's word. OK, I have laid the foundation. Paul laid the foundation. He came and told the Gentiles about our great King Yahweh Shai, who is the foundation. OK. And another build it their own. All right. So another brother's going to do what Paul did. The doctrine Paul got, another brother go, he go to another uh, sector, another another realm, and he teaches exactly what was taught to him. All right. And every man take he how he build their own. So that means the doctrine that you've been given to you, you go give it, um, teach that doctrine somewhere else. And take heed. Don't go off to the doctrine to the left or the right. And that, a lot of that's going on. All right. Don't get a breakdown and then put your twist on it. OK, whatever the, the doctrine that the elders of Great Millstone gave us and told us to go push across the four winds. Feel it, freely we receive. Freely we go give it. But don't don't uh, remix it and put your spin on it. OK. So take heed how you build this house, man. For, for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai, our great king. And he is the word. When you read our um, Revelation, the 19th chapter, it called our king, our great king, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, whose real name is Yahweh Shai, calls him the word of God. When you drink, read the John, the first chapter, it say, and the word became flesh. All right. Our great king is the word. He's the foundation. All right. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, Precious stones, wood, hay, stubble. Every man's work shall be manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Okay? So, man, you got to make sure, man, when you when you teach this word, you don't um, teach this uh, word contentiously. Like Paul says, some people uh, teach Christ contentiously, man. All right? You make sure you be in the right spirit and you make sure you teach what, teach what it was taught to you, man. Okay? And you rightly divide this word of truth and you live it, man. All right? I'm going to go to uh, 1 Peter. Okay? Oh, yeah, bro. This is 1 Peter, the second chapter, the fifth verse. All right. Let me see. I'm going to start... 
I'm going to start at verse 4. To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh and precious. All right. Ye, I was talking about our great king. Verse 5. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. All right. With the elect men is that spiritual house. All right. We're that spiritual house that's been built in this last day, seconds in time. Elect men. Krella de la Krim. Men that live according to the doctrine our great king brought to the planet Earth, man. All right. We and, and, and we are building up on that house, man. Bringing brothers in every day in and day out. Week in and week out, man. What's bringing them in is these master builders that our Heavenly Father's using. All right, his labors. The scriptures say the labors are few, but they coming out in these last days. And we are laboring through the spirit and fear and trembling. All right, lively stones, all right, are uh, built up a spiritual house. And the holy priesthood, that lets you know this house we're building, this temple we're building is men. All right, the church is men. Okay, to offer up spiritual sacrifices, accepted to Yahweh by Yahweh shall the anointed. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, our great king. So we go teach what our great king taught us. Elect, all right? And we're who we looking for? The elect men. Our, our great king is the elect of the elect, okay? Precious. And he that believe on him shall not be confounded. And those that believe on him is, uh, his, is his servants, the 144,000 and the one third, okay? Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, the believers, all right? And not just the, when you believe, you're going to act. You're going to do. You're going to apply action to your belief. That's what true faith is. Faith without works is dead. But unto them which is disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head, the head of the corner. And a, and a stone of stumbling, a rock of offense. He's a rock of offense to the wicked. He said he um the wicked hate him because he uh testified at works and that works a, a wicked, a evil. Even in the one which stumble at the word, being disobedient, be disobedient, whereunto all to also they were appointed. But it, this this the point I want to make. But ye are a chosen generation. This is their spiritual houses, men, a royal priesthood. This talking about men, a holy nation, a peculiar people. See, this house we're made, made, we're building is made of men. It's just like the body of Yahweh is made of men. The windows are men. The door is men. The bricks are men. The stones are men. The marble floors is men. The gold chandelier is, is men. All right? That you should forth, that you should shoot forth the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. All right? So this spiritual house we're building is men, man. You got to take heed how you are joined to this man. Because when you when when you get mold in the house, that mold gets expelled. All right? Nobody want mold in the fucking house, man. Nobody want leaven in the house. So you got to be circumspect of yourself because you're a part of that lively, long, that lively stone and you're connected to this house. The spiritual house that's being built. All right? I'm going to go get one more precept. I'm going to end on this one. Uh, no, not you, Jonah. More like Amos. Amos. Not in 11. All right. All right. In that day, I will raise up the tabernacles of David that, David that is fallen. All right. We're not talking about a physical building. All right. The tabernacle, tabernacles of David that is fallen is when Israel was in a good a state under King David and King uh, Solomon. When, when the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom was together, the breaches were closed and we were, we were rocking out the sound doctrine, okay? And close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it in the days of old. And that's happening in our day and time. The northern kingdom is coming. They are taking heed to this doctrine of life that's, that um, the men of the Lord are pushing out. And the southern kingdom is coming. And you can see that week in and week out. You got the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom throughout the planet Earth coming together under one doctrine. All right? All right? Bringing Jacob back to our great, our heavenly father. And look, this is going to happen at the end thereof. This is the eclipse. All right. 
this this is the uh the pinnacle of the house coming back together. That they may possess the remnant of Eden. Man, we're gonna put these devils. That see, once we take care of ourselves and the most high clean this filth out of us and purify us through the washing of the word, then it's gonna manifest in the physical. And we're gonna possess the remnant of Eden, these so-called white people who have dominion of the earth. We're gonna take them out of power, man. And we and the saints shall take the kingdom by force forever and ever, man. That's the pinnacle when the spiritual house get built. And all of the heathen, all of the nations under the sun, it don't just say either, eat them. All of the heathen, these so-called Japanese, uh, East Indians, Arabs, all these people that the Lord known us over us on the planet Earth. The most high once this spiritual house is built, his elect men, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the earth in submission. It says our great king, when he comes back to the planet Earth, he's gonna have many crowns because he's gonna subdue all the kings of the earth. Okay? Which are called by my name, say of Yahweh. Say of Yahweh that do of this. All right? And that's what we can't wait for, man. That, that, I mean, that's that's the faith and the patience of the saints, man. Build up this spiritual house. Let the leg be sealed. And let us go through Jacob's trouble. Lord willing, we make it through. Uh, we be found faithful to the end. We endure to the end and be found faithful unto death, if that's our lot. And uh, come in the kingdom of the Lord. And our great king put them crowns on our head. And uh, we go put these... He, heathens in submission, it's hardcore slavery, and we rule. We be we we rule for eternity, man. All right, that's all a part of building that spiritual house, man. It's a it's a that house is a a a, a nation of men, rulers, conquerors, holy men. All right, priests. All right, crela de la crim, royal men, royal yasharala, man. Royal men. That's what that house is, man. Perfect men. Matthew 5 48. Say be perfect. Perfect men. Um the Hebrews, the second chapter, say, He that sanctified and them that are sanctified are one. Our great king is perfect. He's perfection. This house is going to be perfect. This house is not going to have no blemishes on it. All right. That renewed covenant and covenant in Jeremiah 31, man, that was going to be perfect men. Okay. So with that, I'm going to give infinite honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to you, sincere Aki, pushing this truth with all sincerity. My favorite, my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shah, Kwam Yasharala, Shalom.